Man, the best piece of advice that Floyd has given me was the night of my fight with Savannah Marshall. Right before I went out to the ring, he, he, he had called my coach, a GT, and he said, ooh, it make me it getting all emotional. But he called me and he said, if you don't win no other fight, you got to win this one. And it was like I had needed to hear it because it was like I, was, I wasn't worried, but it was like he was like, you going to, he's like, you got it, you know, and just hearing him. Like, 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 you know, cheer for me and tell me, like, you know, this fight is your fight with Savannah Marshall is like, is, is like my fight with Pacquiao. And when he said that, it was like I was at home on my couch, literally holding my gold medals, like praying that he win the fight. And he won. And just like he like this. this that's how important this fight is for you. It's going to change your life. He said, so it don't matter if you never win another fight in your life, you got to win this one tonight. And when and when he said that, it just charged me up. And I was like, man, I'm about to hurt her. And that's what I did. <laughs> you know, that was quite touching. And uh, some people might say, well, why would Floyd Mayweather be that inspirational to uh, Clarissa Shields or for Clarissa Shields? The number one, they're both from Michigan. I think Floyd is from Detroit, she's from Flint, but they both from from basically the same area. Um, and I don't know about earlier in her career, but the last few years, Floyd has definitely made it a point to get to know her and to get closer to her. And uh, not just that, the two fights does have a lot of similarities. Now, maybe not um, the point in each other's career when they fought Pacquiao or Marshall, but the way it came about. Now, it kind of felt like the Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall uh, fight was drug out, but it actually wasn't. And, and truth be told, it probably would have benefited even more if they would have let it drag out a little longer and gave Savannah Marshall time to build her name up and, and get more accomplishments. Because as Clarissa Shields said, the only reason why Savannah Marshall even had a belt was because Clarissa Shields had to relinquish one. But that that definitely felt like it was drug out. Especially for the last couple years, you heard Savannah Marshall's team or Savannah Marshall herself paint the narrative that Clarissa Shields was ducking her. Another thing that... uh. That, that makes it compatible with Floyd's fight with Pacquiao is the fact that nobody, well, I ain't going to say nobody, but a lot of people put their eggs in the Savannah Marshall basket. A lot of people felt like Savannah Marshall, being that knockout artist like Manny Pacquiao, was just going to give her so many problems Despite the fact that she does have good defense, despite the fact that she's shown she has a tremendous chin, and yes, she's been knocked down one time, but if you've watched that knockdown against Hannah Gabriel, it was really a balanced knockdown. She called her coming in and she got popped, and she, you know, she fell. She landed on her behind. She didn't fall on her back. She didn't hit her head or none of that. She was never in any type of danger of even being stopped, even in that fight when she got dropped. So clearly, some, uh, Clarissa Shields ha has a pretty good chin for a girl, and she showed it even more against Savannah Marshall. So uh, the fact that, that you had a, a KO artist versus an artist that supposedly can't crack, you know, sounds familiar. Then the fact that nobody, well, once again, I can't say nobody. But a lot of people jumped on that Savannah Marshall bandwagon, the same as Manny Pacquiao, despite the fact that Clarissa Shields was the superior boxer. Then you had people that really didn't even want to give her that. So it's definitely some similarities between her fight with Savannah Marshall and Manny Pacquiao's. But the, but the one that stands out the most is the fact that they made such a big deal about it. Now, honestly, and I'm a Savannah Marshall fan, but that fight didn't deserve that much hype except for one reason, because she's the only woman that beat Clarissa Shields, and that was in the amateurs. Other than that, if you were to put anybody else with the same resume, with the same record, 
and only had one belt and only made, what, two or three defenses of it, it would have been, uh, okay, it's just another opponent for Clarissa Shields because on paper, outside of the knockouts, now I give her that, the knockouts made her stand out too. But who did she knock out? Nobody of significance. Nobody. Nobody. So that that's to me, that's the one difference. You know, Savannah Marshall just didn't have the resume that a Manny Pacquiao had. But at the same time, the fight had so much hype attached to it that they made that a big fight, like a, a Pacquiao and Floyd. So it had that part is is kind of uh I can see the similarities with it being so big, but at the same time, if they if Savannah Marshall would have had uh, Amanda Serrano's resume, then that would it would fit perfectly. Then if she would have had a resume like that, where she went, or not even Serrano's, but clearly you know why I'm saying Serrano, because she went from this division, this division, this division, this division, this division, this division to fighting, you know, a big fight with Katie Taylor. If it would have been something like that, that would have been perfect, a perfect uh, match. But she don't even have um, French Sean Cruz Design's resume. And I'm talking just the title wins, not even necessarily names. You know, she she just don't have a resume yet. And that's that's the part that was lacking. And that's why I really thought they should have waited. But that's pretty much all I got. This head busting boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section. And let me know what you think. Were there some similarities, as Floyd said, between the Pacquiao uh, Floyd fight as the Savannah Marshall Clarissa Shields fight? I can see it. But like I said, she just didn't have the resume coming into the fight. But that's pretty much all I got this hair busting boxing on Fight Doctor I am out.